Welcome back. Let's take a look at the third case of writing our equations in point-slope form, and we're going to be given um, two points on the line. So let's say we're given the line that runs through the points 2 and 4, and the point minus 5 and 1. So our line goes through these two points. Now let's recall what our point-slope form is. We have y minus y naught equals m times x minus x naught. Okay, this is our point slope form um, where y and x are the point are the coordinates of an arbitrary point and x naught and y naught, um, also called the coordinates of a first point, and these are what we want to find along with the slope m. So our answer will be just have y and x and all the variables will be filled in. So we're given two points here, but we know how to find the slope of the line given two points. We can use it, use the slope formula to find it. So let's go ahead and do so. It's the difference between the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So we have 4 minus 1 divided by 2 minus a minus 5. Okay, so this is going to give us 3 divided by, if we cancel our negatives, 3 over 7. And this is our slope for the line. So we have our m, and we actually just need our y naught and our x naught. But we have two points here, so we can actually use either point um, for our x naught and our y naught because this actually does make sense because both points fall on the line. So let's go ahead and uh, use the first one because there's no negatives here. You know I don't like negatives. So let's plug it in. Let's say we have y minus y naught is 4 equals slope, which is 3 over 7 times x minus x naught, which is just 2. And plugging that in and there's nothing fancy here we can just drop our parentheses and 3 over 7 times x minus 2 and that's our point slope form for our equation now you may be wondering if uh, if your answer will be the same if you use the other point um, and the answer is more than likely no so if, if we if we plugged in the this point for x naught and y naught um, you'll find that actually we'll get a completely different looking answer. But um, while it's certainly not going to be the same answer, it's nothing to write home about. Um, an equation in point-slope form is not solved for y. Um, so if we convert our answers to slope-intercept form um, when our uh, equation is solved for y, it would actually simplify to the same slope-intercept equation. Um, this is because there's an infinite number of points on a given line because um, you can you know, choose any arbitrary point for x and y. Um, so we can take any point on the line and substitute it into our equation, and we just simply convert from point-slope form to slope-intercept form um, just by simply solving for y, and we'll see that indeed it's correct. It's actually a good way to check. So um, let's keep that in mind. Um, let's do a few more examples. Um, let's say we, we want the equation of a line that passes through the points minus 3, minus 2, and 0, 6. All right, so first thing we're going to need is our slope. So let's go ahead and compute our slope. So we have minus 2 minus 6 divided by minus 3 minus 0. And we can add a negative here. So we have minus 8 divided by minus 3, or just if we kill the negative signs, 8 over 3. And that's our slope. Now we can plug any either point um, into our equation for x naught and y naught. Um, but since this one has a zero in it and this one has negative signs in it, let's go ahead and use this this second point. Uh, remember, we want to keep things simple. We want to work smarter, not harder. So we have y minus y naught, which is six, equals our slope, which is eight over three, times x minus x naught, which is zero. And there's nothing special going on here, so we can just drop the parentheses. We have 8 over 3x. Now we don't need to write the 8 over 3 times 0, because that's just going to give us a 0. So that is our answer in point-slope form. All right, let's do a few more. Let's say um, we have the two points. We're given the two points 7, 11, and 13, 4. Our line passes through these two points. Um, we want to know the point-slope form 
of the linear equation of the line. So first we're going to need the slope. So let's go ahead and find that. We have 11 minus 4 divided by 7 minus 13. 11 minus 4 is 7. 7 minus 13 or 7 plus a negative 13 is negative 6. So a minus 7 over 6. Um, both answers will work. Now we can plug in either point into our equation to get um, the, re the, the a y naught and the x naught. So uh, it actually really doesn't matter here. So let's just go ahead and plug in 7 and 11. So we have y minus 11 equals our slope minus 7 over 6 times x minus x naught, which is 7. And our point slope form of the equation is y minus 11 minus 7 over 6 times x minus 7. Now again, I like uh, leaving it in this form instead of just, we can distribute this fraction, but I'd rather not because it looks more compact and simplified. Okay, so uh, let's do a couple more. Let's say we have the line that goes to the point um, 9, 9 over 2 and minus 2 and the point uh, 1 and minus 1. Okay, first thing we're going to need is our slope. So let's go ahead and find that by taking the difference in the y coordinates and dividing that by the difference in the x coordinates. So we have minus 2 minus a minus 1 divided by 9 over 2 minus 1. Okay, we can cancel our negative signs. Instead of subtracting, we can add a negative. And this gives us minus 1 divided by, uh, if we turn this 1 into a minus 2 over 2, so we're actually subtracting, so we get a 7 over 2. This becomes, if we write minus 1 over 1 times the reciprocal, whenever we're dividing by um, a fraction, we don't ask why, but we flip the second and multiply. 2 over 7, that gives us a minus 2 over 7 for our slope. So a little work done to get our slope, but we have it right here. Um, now all we need to do is plug one of these um, two points in for our x naught and y naught into our point slope form. And uh, well, obviously this one has a fraction in it, and these are just ones, so one a positive one and minus one. So let's use this one. This one's a lot simpler. So let's say y minus y naught, which is minus one, equals the slope of 1 times x minus, oh, excuse me, our slope here is minus 2 over 7. So minus 2 over 7 minus our x naught is 1. These two negatives cancel, which gives us y plus 1 equals our slope is minus 2 over 7 times x minus 1. And that's our linear equation in point-slope form. All right, uh, we have time to do one more. Let's look at this one. Let's say we have a line that goes through the origin, which is 0, 0, and it also goes to the point 39 and minus 16. Okay, first thing we need is our slope. Now we have some pretty big numbers over here, but we also have zeros over here, so it makes life a little bit easier when you have a line that goes to the origin. So we have 0 minus a negative 16 divided by 0 minus 39. Be careful with our negative signs here. These cancel. Um, I like to add a negative instead of just subtracting um, to help clarify things. We have 16 over a negative 39 or a minus 16 over 39, whichever way is more convenient for you. All right, so let's go ahead. We need to choose one of these points um, to plug in for our x naught and our y naught. Um, this is kind of a no-brainer since we have zeros here. So let's go ahead and use that one. I'm get a different color. We have y minus y naught, which is 0, and equals our slope, uh, minus 16 over 39 times x minus x naught, which is also 0. And our equation is y equals minus 16 
over 39x. And that is our equation in point-slope form. So this is the third case of um, writing our equations in point-slope form. We're actually given two points here. Um, but using two points, we know how to find the slope. And we can actually plug in either point um, for our values for x0 and y0. Um, we'll, di we'll get different looking answers, but um, if you want to just check to make sure we got the, the correct answer, um, you can plug in um, both points and then simplify them, um, put them in slope-intercept form by solving for y. And, and slope-intercept form, um, using either two points, we should get the same looking equation. Um, that's just in slope-intercept form. So um, just review this a few times, get a good handle on it, and I'll see you soon.